Hello everyone, this is the question 7 for the important questions and simple answers video series. So it's about learning rate. Can you explain the effect and role of the learning rate? So I will answer this question under the four sections. The first of all, let's look at closely this part. To understand the learning rate, firstly we should keep in mind that learning is a progress. Our model step by step will learn and try to generate the best outputs. And the first thing that you should know about the learning rate is learning rate affects the step size, steps in this learning progress. But how? To understand this step size and learning rate relationship, firstly, you need to understand the relationship between error and learning. Let's look at this graph closely. At the starting point of learning progress here, the model's error will be too high because Remember, we initialize the model's weights, deep learning model's weights, randomly. Therefore, the error will be too high at the beginning. And step by step, our model will adjust its weights. And after each step, the model will calculate the new output and find the error. So what we are expecting that our model, step by step, minimizes the error, decreases the error, until the global minimum point. So from starting point to the global minimum point, the model step by step will update its weights and the size of the step depends on the learning rate and also slope of this gradient. I will not give too much details about the slope, but remember the fundamental thing about the slope. If you want to find the slope of a function, you need to calculate its derivative, right? So the step size equals learning rate times slope. Learning rate is a hyperparameter for the model, so we will determine the different values for the learning rate. And the slope is not a hyperparameter, model will calculate this slope. So how? So for each weight, the model will use the old weight and will add the step size to find the new weight. In other words, we can say that since learning rates affect step size and step size is a part of updated mechanism, learning rate value affects the updating process. So to understand the effect of learning rate, let's look at different cases. So this is a hyperparameter, it can be too high, too small, or it can be optimal value. If it is too much, too high, then step size will be higher and bigger. And in that case, as you see here, we can miss the optimum value, and this can cause high error. Of course, training phase will be fast because step sizes are bigger, but the error will be also high. So if the learning rate is too small, then of course step sizes will be too small. And from starting point to the global point, these small step sizes will cause too long training time. This is also bad for us because we want to find the optimal value, optimal learning rate to minimize the error in a feasible training time. We don't want to miss the global point, we don't want too long training time, so we should find the optimal value, but how? So here basically, like in most cases in deep learning, you should try and find. The first thing you can just check the literature review, check the similar projects, similar data sets, and the learning rate values. Also you can use the default values of optimizing algorithms, for example, for the Adam you can use 0 0.001, then you can slightly change the learning rate. And the first thing that you can do is compare the training and validate scores in the experimental parts. If the learning continues, in other words, there is no overfitting, then you can think about increasing the learning rate because that means there is a way to go and maybe your step sizes are too small to reach them. And the second thing that you can do here is, of course, try different combinations with some tools like research of psychic learn. According to your pre study, you can define some different values. And with grid search, you can see the scores of all different combinations. But be careful, for example, if there are 50 combinations, that means grid search will build 50 different models. And if you are using cross validation, for example, for the key fault cross validation, if your key value is 5, there will be 250 models. So it's computationally expensive. Therefore, you should select your combination values wisely. Okay, that's all. We see the role of learning rate and the effect of learning rate and how can we find the best value for the learning rate. See you in the next question.